Hey, happy Saturday. So today, uh, continuing with my testing. I mean, as, as you guys are watching my vlogs, I'm basically doing like Friday through Thursday, and then Thursday, I usually finish my video, upload, and then that next day, Friday, you guys get to watch it. So if you haven't, uh, check out last week's vlog. I did my five and 20 minute power test. But since it's Saturday and it's still technically the same week of what I posted last week, I'm continuing with a one minute power test today. And then tomorrow I gotta do a 15 second sprint power test. So uh, right now, a little bit different change of pace. I'm going down to Velocino Bike and Cafe. Super sick shop. Uh, Mark is the owner down there. Dude, his shop is so cool. It's got like a coffee shop inside of it. It's super small, but it's it's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, outside of that, the group ride that I hang out with down there, bunch of good dudes uh, and gals. Love riding with them. So I do a lot of training on my own, obviously. I mean, that's the best way to get things done is to train alone. Uh, you know, I find I hit all my workout targets better. My consistency is better. Um, I don't get caught up in, you know, pushing too hard because I'm riding with other people. So the group rides are cool. They're a little bit of a break for me mentally on the weekends, get to go out and ride with them. Usually I have longer rides than what they do, which is completely fine. Um, I'll ride down to them, do the group ride, then ride home. Right now my volume isn't anything crazy. I'm doing like three hours today. Pretty sure the group ride will be about two to two and a half hours long. So then I'll just ride extra afterwards. But uh, yeah, driving down to Velocino in Maryland and uh, it's gonna be fun. One minute power test today. Let's go. Oh yeah, all day, all, all day, all day. <laughs> all right, you're riding around like this all I mean, day. You're on the coaching, right? All day. Man, work on your core strength. Got <laughs> <laughs> it. Anyways, are you ready? Yeah. Somebody you ready? Whatever. Okay. okay. On the weekend, that. Yeah, thousand people. Oh, that was so tough. So uh, that was actually pretty good. I was, uh, I think I was like 750 for 30 seconds, and then clear. And then I think uh, I think I managed 645 for a minute, which is actually 
That might have been my best of the whole year. So, oh, that was fun. Oh. Oh. Waiting on the rest of the rest day it's monday uh today rest days what i like to do is i like to wash the bike because i mean it doesn't look that bad but uh, so dirty gross uh as bike hardcore says a clean bike is a fast bike so song of choice today or station or whatever playlist jazz i don't know why i like working on my bike to jazz music uh it's pretty awesome yeah, I mean, every Monday, usually, uh, or sometimes Fridays, I will clean the bike. So I'm gonna clean the bike. Uh, I took the chain off yesterday, re-waxed it, put the chain back on. But uh, other than that, oh, we got a full week of training on up on tap. The uh, power testing this last week, you saw my one minute test yesterday, uh, went really good, so Based off of my one minute, uh, my five second, I didn't show you my five second power test, but my five second was around a thousand, I think it was like a thousand seventeen was my five second power. One minute was 640, five minute was 400, 20 minute was 348. Put all that together and we decided my threshold is around 330 watts right now, which is actually, I want to say 15 watts higher starting the off season after a two week break compared to what it was last year. Last year when I started the off season, I was around 310, 315 threshold, came up really quickly to 330. Um, but right now I'm starting at 330. So we should see that move up really quickly in the next month. Uh, but yeah, first full week of legit training back in. Last week was power testing. This week we're getting back at it, which is solid aerobic zone two base miles but before i can do that i'm gonna clean my bike Tuesday. So today uh, we're back into full blown training. Uh, my plan for today is just zone two endurance. And I'm doing some cadence work. So every uh, go like 10 minutes, zone two endurance. So for me, it's uh, 200 to 230 watts. And then when I'm done with those 10 minutes, for five minutes, I move into uh, high cadence work. So I'm just kind of working on, just kind of getting aerobic efficiency at high cadence. So with the high cadence work, you know, we're just starting to recruit some of that fast twitch muscle fiber, different things. Uh, the target for that's like 100 RPM. 
I'll do it for five minutes. And I'll be on the higher end of my zone too. Be more like 220 to 250. And then uh, it's back into 10 minutes of regular zone two or whatever cadence I want. So I'm basically just gonna do that for almost two and a half hours today. It's kind of plan. Let's knock it out. In my mouth is a desert. Run me dry on the tip of my tongue. I can taste your lies. How to measure the love you throw around. I could never hold you down. Food. Let's dive into food because food is an important part of training. If you don't eat right, you don't recover right. If you don't recover right, you don't get the adaptations you need. And therefore, all this precious time spending on training or riding my bike is wasted. So, one thing I love, I've talked about this in my last one Racing Weight, the Feed Zone Cookbook. Love it. Today, I'm going to be preparing a beef stew with sweet potatoes. Uh, this is gonna give me my good source of iron and B12s through the red meat. Sweet potatoes are super good nutritionally with vitamins and minerals. And then outside of that, I'm going to be putting carrots, peas, um, all kinds of just overall, it's gonna be good. And the Racing Quake Cookbook is super cool because it's lean uh recipes so there's not a lot of fat in there it's very lean nutritious vitamins minerals all that good stuff just really what you need uh, as an athlete so i'm going to be dump jumping into that what's cool is it takes six hours to cook so i can just throw that in and set it you know probably takes me 20 minutes of prep just to throw it into the crock pot and then once i throw it in just let it sit for six hours come back and then it's ready Right now, it's about 10 a.m., so I'm just going to start prepping it and then throw it in. And then when I go out for my ride, I'll just turn it on. And when I get home, it'll continue to cook. And when my wife gets home for dinner, beef stew is ready. <music>
All right. Another day of riding. Add it. Add it. Add it. Add it. Uh, today. What we got on tap for today is our endurance build. So it's kind of moving through the endurance zone. A little bit different though. I'm gonna spend the first. It's two and a half hours today, so I'm gonna spend the first. Uh, I don't know. I think 40 minutes low zone two then 40 minutes at mid zone two and then I think like 30 minutes at high zone two after our warm up. Uh, outside of that, gonna try and go find some gravel roads today. Uh, there's something about riding gravel that actually helps with bike handling and I suck at bike handling. So I've been doing a lot of drills to get better at it, but I think uh, finding some gravel roads will be good. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not ready for the wham Energy's war, I've never been glam Energy sure like bars will land Like a missile straight to the pan Energy's hmm. Found some gravel Finally It's a pretty cool road uh, I've never been on this road, obviously So sick Energy's yeah, like a sizzling pan Four meetings already is it urgent fam If the energy's right, we can do this man If the energy's right, we can do this man Hey, wifey. What? I made you ski. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Well, come see it. I want to see. Oh, it oh, I can't wait. Exciting. How was your day? It was good. I it got was bread. Oh, very, very busy. Here, can you get the bread out? Pressure Z's. It's staining. Cool. Like crazy. Fun. Oh. Yum. There we go. All right, let's have dinner. You ready? Yep. Love you. Love you. Dinner time. Yeah. Anyways, see you guys next week. The energy's right, and we can do this, man. The energy's right and we can do this for